Palestinian protesters taking over Washington, D.C. today. This is Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is in the nation's capital and just wrapped up speaking to Congress. He gave a fiery address doubling down on the war in Gaza and vowing to press on to achieve, quote, total victory. And Fox News' Sharon Crowley is here with more on what he had to say. Sharon. Yeah, fiery, a good way to describe it. Prime Minister Netanyahu urging Americans and Congress to continue to support Israel's war on Hamas that he says is backed by Iran. Now, he took digs at protesters who were both outside the U.S. Capitol today and on college campuses, and he defended Israel against critics who say the IDF is not giving enough aid to innocent civilians in Gaza. For the forces of civilization to triumph, America and Israel must stand together. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu calling on Congress to continue to support Israel as its war with Hamas rages on in Gaza. Our enemies are your enemies. Our fight is your fight. And our victory will be your victory. Outside the U.S. Capitol, anti-war protesters demanding a ceasefire. Demonstrators are upset because so many innocent Palestinians have been killed since the Middle East war started when Hamas invaded Israel during the October 7th terror attack. I have a message for these protesters. When the tyrants of Tehran, who hang gays from cranes and murder women for not covering their hair, are praising, promoting, and funding you, you have officially become Iran's useful idiots. If there are Palestinians in Gaza, who aren't getting enough food, it's not because Israel is blocking it, it's because Hamas is stealing it. Netanyahu urged the U.S. to continue providing military aid to Israel. He repeatedly blamed Iran for the war. My friends, in the Middle East, Iran is virtually behind all the terrorism, all the turmoil, all the chaos, all the killing. Republicans invited Netanyahu to address Congress Dozens of Democrats protested by skipping the speech. Representative Rashida Tlaib held up a sign calling Netanyahu a war criminal. He ended his speech vowing to continue to fight until all the hostages are released. As we defend ourselves on all fronts, I know that America has our back. And I thank you for it. All sides of the aisle, thank you. Well, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will meet with President Biden tomorrow as ceasefire negotiations continue in the Middle East. Vice President Kamala Harris is also expected to be in attendance. Now, the Israeli leader will then meet with former President Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago on Friday. Natasha and Bianca.